Big numbers. I really know how to finish a game off. This is like the ninth time in this 13 and one stretch you're on that you guys have, have trailed in the second half or been tied late. Uh, just what, what do you think is the key to that? Uh, just fighting for one another, uh, knowing each possession going to be hard when you're playing against a good team like that, and just having each other back. That's the main thing we're trying to do, just have our brother back. You want to take that, stay your thoughts? Yeah, I, uh, shit, we just be trying to find a way to win at the end of the game. That's that's the biggest thing for us. You know, we just, you know, in the huddles, we just try to do our best to stay composed when the game gets when the game gets close like that. So I think we just be trying to um, find a way to win. That's the biggest thing for us. And, and J.D., that, that's your third 30-point game this year. Uh, the 31, you know, obviously came in a loss. That's tough. But what was it like to get 30 on Kentucky, especially, you know, get game on CBS? Uh, I mean, feel good. Just taking what they give me, just being aggressive for my team and just getting my teammates involved. So, Just curious what you guys thought about Jalen Williams' performance today. Obviously, he had a, a tough defensive assignment, made some big plays down the stretch, and, and just another double-double out of him. Uh, yeah, he, he was big for us. You know, he was at halftime, he was throwing up and whatnot. Like he, wasn't, he wasn't really feeling his best today, but, you know, he was fighting down there with one of the best big men in the, in the in the country. So I think he was just doing a good job fighting. You know, it's a tough matchup, but, you know, at the end of the game, he had some big shots down the stretch. He went six for seven from the line. And, you know, he was a big reason why we got the dub. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Piggyback off what Stan said. I mean, he was throwing up at halftime, came back out, uh, kept fighting, kept fighting. Uh, we told him we got his back. He made some big plays down the stretch late, and we got it done. So. Stan, JD's going for 28 and 30 in what you might consider y'all's biggest games of the year here. Just just kind of what do you think of this this run that he's on? And I mean, do you think he probably garners more respect nationally for these games? Yeah, it, it's it's incredible. You know, he's one of the best players in the in the nation. So he been, you know, it's it's good, comfort, comforting knowing that you're going into the game with a guy like that, you know, playing in a big game like that. You know, he takes pressure off of all of us, just knowing what he's able to do out there and you know, it shows how type of player he is when he's showing up in these games like this, you know, 50%, 30 points on a, against one of the best teams in the nation, you know, at home. So we were able to defend home court. And, you know, it's just, just special to be able to play with a guy like that. Stanley, your best games this season have been on the road, but you hit three big threes today. Why do you think that you just hit some shots today? Uh, it, it, they were, my coaches were letting me know about, you know, the stats from home and away. Like they said, I was averaging 16 on the road and 10 at home and whatnot. So, you know, I just did a good job of, you know, getting in this week and bud, just really getting the feel for my jump shot in there. And, and I knew I was going to shoot it well today. Just, just tried to pick my spots better. As far as you all right, uh, Oscar with some of the other great players in the league and just how hard was it kind of overcome a one man effort that, that he put up? I mean, that dude, he crazy down there. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I don't know what to say about him, but he did his thing. But we got it done. So that's all we really worried about. Uh, yeah, it's tough. There's no really, there's no way to really scout for someone like that. You just got to get in the game and really fi find out, you know, how to how to take care of it. But, you know, he's a real strong, real big and big and strong. So it was just, you just got to box him out. And, and yeah, I know. Stanley, and most people look at JD's 30 points, but he also had eight assists today. How, how would you assess his? The game as a distributor. I didn't even know he had eight assists, but that's that's big. That's big time. But um, you know, yeah. He whenever the defense collapses, he does a good job of finding us, and we just know we we put a lot of trust in him. You know, we 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 know we uh, rely on him to do a lot of things for us. So it's not surprising to see him put up numbers like this with the work he puts in every day. Like the Hobbs stats, he's the first guy thirty and eight. You know, since he's going to the SEC, first guy to have thirty and eight since he's going to the SEC. Scotty. Yeah, J.D., you had a couple of stretches in this game where you hit five shots in a row, and I think you had another one where you hit four. Like, when you're feeling it, like, what does that kind of feel like? Like, what what do you think got you going to? Uh, just really just taking what the defense give me, uh, putting Oscar in pick and roll, knowing he's not that good of a, a pick and roll defender. So just get to my spots and just trust the work that we put in each and every day and just go out there and play with confidence. Yeah, you guys are four and zero against ranked teams, and I know three of them are here. But you also won at LSU. Um, what, what, what do you think about that being four and zero against ranked teams? Uh, we just want to win each each and every game, no matter if they ranked or not. Uh, we've been on the side of being ranked, unranked, playing 
so we just want to keep keep winning and worry about uh the rankings later you know, yeah, nice. I think it's just worried about us. We don't really um, going into the game, no matter what they're ranked or who, who, which team it is. We just go in there with our game plan. You know, if we take care of what we need to take care of, we feel like we got a good enough chance to get the dub. So I think, you know, it's good to be 4-0 against those teams. But at the end of the day, we just try to win every game that's in front of us. Yeah, Stanley, oh, go ahead. Oh, yeah. okay, go ahead. Uh, uh, just curious what you guys thought about. Come on today. He only played eight minutes, but obviously made a couple big plays there and just maybe match some of the physicality that Kentucky had in the paint. Uh Monty, he gonna bring that physicality no matter who you is. And I feel like we needed that a little bit with Oscar just putting a big body on him. So I feel like Monty came in and gave us good energy. Yeah, no, he's he's big for us. You know, whenever whenever he's playing well, uh it really uh boosts up our enthusiasm and effort out there. So we know he seemed diving on the floor, uh, hustling for old boards and spray out stuff like that. He hit me for a big three in the, in the second half. So he's, he's, he makes big plays for us when he's out there, even if he's not out there for a while. So it's big for us. Hey, Stanley, when, when you decided to transfer to Arkansas, was this kind of what you imagined? You know, big crowds, big games, you know, when, when I mean, is this kind of what you thought? Yeah, for, for sure. You know, we were in the, the media time, I think under four, I'm just looking at everyone like, this is why we're here. Like, this is what we, this is what we came here for. This is why we're all put together. You know, I think, I think, um, it's, it's easy to, to get lost in all that in the beginning of the season when we were kind of losing some games, but it's just keeping staying the course and, and just knowing that while you're here, I think that's the biggest thing for me. You and Tony both had blocks on those last couple of Kentucky I mean, you guys were defending, you know, to, to the very end. And then how, you know, nobody knew they were going to hit a bank three at the buzzer. I don't know if you would have hit that if you hadn't had a big enough lead, but did, did, was that kind of crazy that, you know, you needed those free throws as it turned out from a Devo? Uh, yeah, I mean, we just got to play to the final buzzer. Uh, that's pretty much how we play, and that's what Coach must tell us uh, every game. So play for 40. Jay, I wonder your thoughts. I don't know if Cal's doing it as a safety precaution, the guys walking off the floor before the handshakes. Do you guys have an issue with that at all, that they didn't shake your hands after the game? Nah, we would. Yeah, I don't, I don't have an issue. I didn't even think about safety issue. It kind of makes sense now I think about it, though. But yeah, we won. Appreciate it, Tom.